Welcome to this week's market update report for the first week of June 2010. My name is Dan Ludwig, Sales Director of the Shore West Realtors Office in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Well, the big uh, mystery out there right now is why are interest rates moving in such a downward direction? You know, for months, experts were stating that after the federal government exited the mortgage-backed securities purchase program on March 31st, interest rates would start moving up. But here we sit 60 days later, and rates are at their lowest point of the year. And a lot of people are asking, what's up with that? Well, let's start with some general economic realities. First of all, there is a finite amount of cash in the world. Second, there are really only four basic places to put that cash. One of them is in the stock market. The second is in the real estate market, which includes mortgage-backed securities. The third place is in the commodities market, gold, silver, pork bellies, etc. And the fourth place is just leave it in cash, CDs, money markets, etc. Well, cash itself has a near zero return. Uh, rates on CDs right now barely outpace inflation. Commodities are mostly an unknown for the average investor. And money will also go kind of back and forth from the stocks to the bonds, which are also the mortgage-backed securities. When the stock market is moving up, investors buy stocks with their cash, which means the cash leaves the bond market. To attract buyers back to the bonds, the bond traders have to offer bonds with higher yields, that is, loans with higher interest rates. When the stock market is trending lower, you sometimes hear the expression flight to quality towards safety and stability of bonds. When more people look to buy bonds, bond traders lower the yields, hence lower interest rates. So how does this relate today? Let's look at the failing economies in Europe and Greece. Investors are nervous about the impact on our stock market as international partners continue to struggle. The Dow has dropped nearly 2,000 points, so people are pulling their cash out and buying mortgage-backed securities at a feverish rate, therefore lower rates. What does this mean to all of us? Well, right now, many stock analysts are predicting a rebound beginning around July of this year. Now, this will help all the home buyers who need to close by June 30th to receive the tax credit, and it's also going to help others who are house hunting right now, because at that point, the rates will stay low up until around the first week of July. We're more... We are back to more of a traditional interest rate forecasting model right now. So as a consumer out there, things for you to watch are stocks, watch the inflation rate, and watch the job numbers. And you will certainly make a wiser decision when it comes to buying or selling your home. Any questions on today's report? please contact your Shorewest Realtors agent or feel free to contact myself at dludwig at shorewest.com. You know, by staying informed, we can all keep the market moving in the right direction. Thanks and have a great day.